At World Remit, we understand what the journey is about, how it can sometimes take a little distance to bring us a little closer together. With ways to save more when you send more, World Remit is here for you, so you can be there for them. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Aquaba Talk Show. My name is Ms. Drew, your hostess with the mostess. And yes, indeed, today we're going to be getting into talks or conversations with yet another celebrity artist, someone that you have requested. Firstly, we need to give a massive shout out and thank you to our sponsors, World Raymond, Silicon House Productions, and of course, with Aquaba UK. Now, you already know here on the talk show, we get deep, personal, and you know, interactive. We want you guys to get interactive, send in your messages, let us know your thoughts, let us know your questions, and of course, I'll do my best to try and answer them. The handle is running across the screen right there, so make sure you get your questions in. So today, our special guest that I'm gonna be getting into talks with is a very, very deep, deep high life artist that I'm sure a lot of you have been singing along to, dancing along to, the hall parties, when you were thinking about throwbacks. Yes, indeed, you guessed it. Our guest for today is none other than Mr. Ofori Aponsa. <laughs> Yo, what's up? Hello, hello, <laughs> hi, hello. Hi, hi, head. How are you? Yeah, I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm okay. You're good? I'm very good. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've heard from you. Right. You know, music. Tell us, what's been going on? Um, right now, it's just like, probably I'm, I'm getting to retirement or something. I don't know. Okay, but, um, retirement. Of course. You look too young to retire. <laughs> um, it's, it's kind of like, you know, still recording. Um, a bit laid back. But um, I'm still into the music. Um, I came out not so like, long ago with um, a track. And then um, I did um, a collab with um, Kim Promise. Yes. And, yeah, so I'm still in it. Just a bit lazy now, not like before. <laughs> hey, but then, I mean, what happened? I mean, you, you've been doing music for a while. You've been right. in the... Definitely we can call you a legend or veteran in the music game. Pro probably, I don't want to be a legend. So but... it, well, tell us why. <laughs> why don't you want to, you know, claim that celebrity status? Because um, there is more, m like more to come. I think, I think there is more to come. More yeah. to come? Of course. But you just said you're retiring. Um, kind of, you know, diverting into something else. Like, you know, I've been singing the same way for almost 20 years. Oh, wow. Yeah. So probably I'm thinking about like diverting digressing a bit okay you know, into so what 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 kind of the same or... music but probably okay. not like i not used to sing Yo, it's I, I, actually i don't know i i don't call my music high life i just call it music because it, it just comes out of me Ooh. so i don't know whether i'm singing high life or anything okay but i have my roots in high life like um i love high life it's one of the best songs like generous in in in, in the world that's what i, mm, I say mm. so it's it's kind of if I'm high, I'm high life then then it's okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah it doesn't matter. So then, I mean, you you just said that how sometimes the music just comes out of you. If it's high life, then it's high life. So what would you say inspires your music? How long does it even take you to write a song? Um, it could take just like a minute to oh. do it, and sometimes it takes six months. It oh, depends. Wow. Yeah. So, um, you know, it depends on the vibes. When you get to the studio and then you hear a beat mm -hmm. or something, you just write on it. Sometimes. You can, by listening to a kind of music, you feel the lyrics is just like jumping out of, it, of the beat. Yeah. You know, so it's just like one minute you are done. Mm -hmm. And sometimes too, it's just a bit difficult. It takes a bit of time. So it depends, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 20 years in the music scene. Mm -hmm. What, of course, your journey has been interesting. There's right. been ups and downs. Right. What has been the lowest point of your music industry? My lowest point, I actually don't give up easily. Okay. So I don't have um, lowest point, but I do have, you know, um, sometimes it, it becomes like something like a testimonial, mm. like something that you can just like share with other people. Yeah. You know, um, I think bringing a lot of artists into my fold was something, you know, that brought me a lot of pain, mm. you know, some oh, wow. misunderstandings here and there and stuff. You know, I tried to do my best for other people, but, you know, it was like kind of what they paid me back was like kind of not good 
So I would say that would be my lowest because I, I, I love helping. Yeah. But by helping people, it also brought me down a bit. Oh my god. So that, that, was, that, that would be my lowest. So then now what would you say? You're more of a lone ranger just focusing on yourself or? No, I kind of have this um, feel in me that um, without helping somebody, I, probably it's a gift. Yeah. I, I, I want to jump on somebody's song, help somebody come out. And it's, it's just part of me. It's, it's kind of difficult, you know, you know, going away from trying to help and then trying to, you know, be alone. Um, but I, I, I don't think I'll stop yeah. because I keep on helping if, if I have the ability to do that. Okay. Well, you know, we can't talk about lows without talking about the highs. So what has been the highest point of your journey so far? Um, my highest would be like playing in Ivory Coast. Oh, I had wow. a West African tour. Oh, nice. How was that? It, it, was, it was massive. You know, like 50,000 people, 50, people turn up for Le Rampon. So. You see? So yeah, you no, are I, a celebrity. I don't want to call myself a celebrity. Why? Why? Why are you trying to run away from the celebrity status? Was it something that you always wanted? No, I I just wanted to you know bring out my craft. I, I don't want to be famous or anything. I I had the music in me. I just wanted to sing, mm. and that was my. I just had love for music, and that that was it. And when you see me, you can just like see differentiate between a celebrity and me because I'm just a simple guy. I want to be simple. I wish I could just like hide and nobody oh, would see wow. me. Yeah, that's, so I don't want to, I don't want that status, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you talked about again helping people is something that you like to do. We know that mm, some time ago there was some sort of you know talk in the media or society about you being. A pastor. Pastors help people. <laughs> so let's talk about that. Is that still something that you would venture into since you said you were not you want to go into another journey or well, is pastoring well, uh, not? Th there's there's something about me that people actually don't know. Um, mm. they feel probably I'm joking or something. Yeah. You know, I I, I have this gift of knowing stuff. Ooh. Yeah. Prophecy. You know, of course. Okay. Like I'll be standing in the room and then I, I can see stuff that people don't see. Nice. And you know, I was I was uh, recording in Germany, I think um, around 2005, and as I, I stood behind um, the the like the desk recording, I just I just got a picture of something that will happen in 2020. Yeah, 15 years before it happens. What? Yeah. So then you knew it was going to happen of in 2020. Course. You just knew it was going to happen of in course. the future. Of course. Whoa. Of course. And I, what was what was it? Do you mind sharing? Okay, so this this is what I saw. I just I just saw some kind of um, something in, in in the in the realm in the spirit. You know, musicians are sometimes called prophets. You know, somebody like um, Bob Marley was a prophet. Oh wow! Because musicians are spiritual people. Mm, Whenever yes. you just like seclude yourself from other people, you just like you, you tap into the divine mm -hmm, somehow. Mm -hmm. You know, so that's a gift I I carry. I, I, I'll just be sitting here in the room and I could just see somebody who is sick. Of course. Like, but are you able like to heal them? I don't have the ability. It's when, when it's like, you know, revealed to you. Mm -hmm. you, have and, to, you have to, you know, tread carefully when you, when, you, when you receive such prophecies. I mean, like Joseph in the Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, people actually don't know. I, I got into this before I became a foreign person. Oh, you yeah, were a prophet I was, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a church boy. Ah, we liked <laughs> a church boy that went to do high life of and course. then came back. Of course. For me, I, my understanding about when I was in church, my understanding was different. Mm. You know, but by, you know, delving deep into the spirit and then, you know, reading, reading books about prophets and stuff, my, my mind kind of changed a bit. It shifted a bit from, you know, the normal church person in me. Mm -hmm. I, I'm quite different from them, but I, I still believe in God. I still believe in Jesus. I, I, I won't run away from it. I still believe. Yeah. But because I, I have also gone around the world and seen stuff, I, my, my understanding is quite different. Wow. Yeah, yeah just different. That's deep. For, for me, I was sitting just right behind my, you know, my TV watching the American elections. And I saw people prophesy, like, do, do, um, whatever. Joe Biden? No, Trump is going to win. Hey. Trump is going to win. And then I had a different thing. I, thought, <gasps> I saw Joe Biden. And this is, I'm, I'm saying this prophecy here. Because uh -huh. I, I saw two groups of people. And everybody wanted Joe Biden to go 
his or her like you know mm -hmm. just a different mm -hmm. direction but the man was at the center moving towards them people were just following and i woke up and said joe biden is going to win this election and nobody believed it Eish. so you yeah, shared so, it with people and you told them of course Th there are a lot of things that if I say it over here, it's like, it would be like, you know, it's, it, that's my gift. Yeah. It's just like singing. It's, it comes naturally to me. Mm. Yeah, so. So how would you use your gift then? I mean, what's your, what is your personal prayer life like? Are you in constant communication with God all the time? Or it just, when you get these prophecies, I, then you pray? I, 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 I kind of, just I don't give myself the chance. I, I see myself like... You know the bad boy who ran away from God. You know, hey, prodigal you know. <laughs> son. Of course, but I still love him. I I wake up every day, every morning, praying. I don't stop. I never stop praying. Mm. You know, so I, I, it, there is a a constant communication, but there are still some things that I feel I'm struggling with. Yeah. You know, I can. That, that's why I'm probably I cannot just like stand up to preach because I I fornicate, do bad things. Mm -hmm, but, you know, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to say it here. <laughs> The secret is safe with me, okay? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so you don't go to church as much, but God still speaks to you via prophecy and all of these different things. This, this is what, what, what is so nice about God. I mean, if how the church is presenting God was that, then mm -hmm. we are all dead. Mm -hmm. you know? But mm -hmm. I don't believe that's, that presentation is quite right. Um, he still loves us. It doesn't yeah. matter what we go through. And... I, I don't believe uh, God is there just like to whip you when you, you, you get it wrong, you know. He's still, you know, crying for us. And that's, that's, that's I feel, uh, it's a loving God. He's a loving God. Yeah. That, that's what I, not the presentation of the church, what the church is actually presenting. Yeah. I like that. I like yeah. that. Let's talk a little bit more about your music. How did, how were you affected by COVID? <laughs> well, I... I was expecting something big, you know, 2019, um, somebody asked me, Ofori, you, you had a prophecy that 2020 something is going to happen. Is yeah. it still going to happen? I said, it's coming, Ooh. you know. And, and for me, um, people who are very close to me know if I say something. It, like the, the gift of prophecy is on me. I just, I just, I, it's, it's, I, just I just, you know, it's like singing. Mm. It comes naturally, you know. So I, I already knew what was about to happen in this, in this world. And there is a shift in the spiritual realms. Ooh, just receive it. I claim that one. I think so. There's just like, you know, a shift. And anytime there's a shift, there's the old going away mm -hmm. and a new thing yeah. arising out yeah. of the old. So that's, that's, that's what I see. Wow. You, you seem to really be in, you know in touch with the spiritual side. I'm confused as to why you stopped the, pre stopped the preaching. No, I, I actually didn't stop. Um, oh. I felt, I, felt, I felt it wasn't the right time. Uh-huh. That's yeah. fine. And I, I also had love for my music. I was kind of torn between, torn. you know. Just so this. would you ever consider doing gospel music then? No, no, not at all. Why? Because I, I probably if I, I'm standing in church or like worshipping or something, it's okay. But... To sing gospel music is not my line. It's I don't think. Why that. do you think gospel music isn't thriving? Or no, not actually. But you know, this thing comes out naturally, and so what comes to you is what you give it out. You mm. just give out what you have. So if you don't have it, you don't force yourself to yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. So, but I, I, I don't. I can write music like I can write music about God and stuff. But actually, I don't believe in that. Yeah. Because somebody will say, and then I 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 will say, I'm singing better than the person. Oh my God. Of course. I'm saying, I'm doing better than the person because it's, they are not saying, it's not gospel. Okay. Yeah, for me, that's not gospel. I see. Yeah. Interesting. Each their own, everyone else is entitled to their own opinion. I, I think it's exhortation, exhortational songs. Uh, oh, it's, wow. It's not, it's not gospel. The good news is different from what they sing about. You know, so that's what I feel. Okay. Yeah. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. You have a recent collaboration with King Promise. Yeah. Tell me how that came about then. Well, we just met um, at a show in Kumasi, mm -hmm. and kind of how I was listening to him. He kind of had a different kind of voice and stuff. I actually don't know why we're not, you know, pushing this guy because I think he's one of the best. 
Oh, King I mean, Promise has got real fans. You know, He's got a whole load of. And so when we met, it was him. like, come on, why don't we do something? Nice. So we just came back to Accra and got into the studio. And, yeah. yeah so. How did you find working with him? He's an amazing guy. We just got into the studio and, you know, I started recording. When I, when I had a few, I, I would just record without stopping. Mm. And so I did it and then I stopped. And then he also did it without stopping. Look it was like, that. come Eesh. on, he's, he's actually there. Talent. Seriously talented, extra talented. Well, I know you've you know, done a few collaborations with quite a few artists. Who mm. else is next on your to-do list? Um, probably I'll go for Adina. Oh, yes, yeah. yes. I, I yes. Think he, she has Adina. an amazing voice. Oh, no, she's she amazing. She has an amazing voice. She's doing good. Oh, my. And so I, I'm kind of like... <laughs> Adina, if you're watching, this is where it was heard first. Euphoria Ponsa and Adina, we are waiting for that track. Literally, the, the, you need to premiere it with me first. That, that would be great. Yes, it's <laughs> yeah. a must. Yeah. But what about you? What, what other projects have you got coming out personally? Um, personally, I, I'm kind of like trying to write something. I, I'm going back to writing. Because before, I, I used to write. Yeah. Yeah, I used to write um, my music, my stuff poetry, mm, everything that mm. came to mind. I, I, so I'm kind of, what about writing my experience in a book? That would be nice. Oh. Like an autobiography stuff. So I'm um, thinking about it. I started this morning writing stuff. So wait, 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 <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You started this venture of writing a book just this morning? Of course. I, I've been, you know, pondering about it. Okay. Yeah, so I started this morning writing stuff, writing my mind, my experiences down. So that probably somebody could just like help me bring out a book. Ish, guys, Mr. Foreign <laughs> Ponsa is dropping some real exclusives today in the show. I yeah. mean, yo, I'm 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 shocked. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Now, do you have like an overall goal? Because you've mentioned music isn't gonna be something that you do forever. You've mm -hmm. talked about your prophecy, you've talked about writing a book, your collab. What, what would you say is the end end goal for you before you retire officially? Because we're not gonna accept this retirement <laughs> that you're talking to us about now. Probably um it will be encouraging people, you know, lifting up people. Okay, you know. like a motivational speaker? Or? Of course, of course. Talking about myself, my story, putting out my story out there I for like people that. also like, you know, to be encouraged by, you know, what I, I've gone through in mm -hmm. life. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I think that, that would be what, uh, that would be the ultimate. Yeah. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Aw. Now, you guys already know we can't have a show without getting your interaction. So I'm just going to read out some of your messages. Thank you so much to all of you who've been getting interactive. We have... Hi, um, Euphoria Ponsa. I love your music. I am Stella from McCarthy. Um, I am... If I am to ask you to describe yourself to Ghanaians one last time, what would it be in the statement? Uh, describing myself, um, of a young person, is, I'm a dreamer. A dreamer. Yeah, I dream. I dream all the time. <laughs> Ooh. I, I just, I just, you know, sometimes I have wishes that I, I keep on. Every morning, I just keep on, like, you know, thinking about the same thing. If I want to do something, I'll just keep on thinking about it, mm. thinking about it mm. until I get it done. Some people so. would say though, being a dreamer isn't a good thing because do you dream without action or you just dream and enjoy the dreams <laughs> i mean yeah the music that you're hearing is part of the dreams oh i like that yeah you know so the, the music that people are hearing listening to i started when i was 12. oh what of course and i i started dreaming about it like trying to be one day i was going to school i think i was in form one or something okay and i got to the station there was this man talking about money and he can double your money. And I was a kid. I was just like watching the person. I wish I had doubled my money and <laughs> just go into the studio, record music, yeah. and you know, get famous uh -huh. or something. So that so I started by, you know, just dreaming this kind of dreams. And, and this is great. And you I, are I now. put these dreams out. I, I made sure I recorded the songs that I was listening inside. Mm -hmm. And then the rest is history. The rest is yeah. history. We like that. We like that. Hi, Ofori, do you have any upcoming songs? Yeah, I do. Right now, what I do is, like, uh, I just record and put it on my handle, like, you know, on oh, the okay. internet. 
I don't just like, you know, have time going about promoting. I just put it down there. Already, I have a lot of songs, a lot of songs still playing. You play Oju today, it's like it was recorded yesterday. Aww. So I feel, you know, for example, it's just like still out there. People are playing the music. Radio stations are still, you know. They are, so they are, they are. It's kind of like I put it on the, on my, on my, on my handle and you can listen. look at that and, yeah. and i would some of your music is actually timeless i mean young people today are still vibing dancing with it you have the older generation that are still singing along so well done to you actually making that kind yeah, i of think music. i think it comes by doing the right thing mm -hmm. you know following the right channel and then listening to the superstars like uh, yesterday i i was listening to michael jackson's song I oh was wow kind of speechless I was crying. I was like, wow, this, this is crazy. So talented. You know, yeah. So you have to, you know, raise your bar a bit to the best. You, mm. have, to, you, you have to be among the best. Mm -hmm. What is coming right now is like, you know, people singing, recording songs, and it just like, it flies away just like that. It's a hit today. Tomorrow it's just gone. Mm. And some of my songs are playing for the last 20 years. Yeah. Yes, just playing, you know, so... The, the 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 work that goes into just recording the you know the 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 right guys to record is very important right right now it's like everybody can just like get into his room and record something so the technical side is a bit lacking when yeah. it comes to the you know music of of nowadays yeah. it's, it's true it's yeah. true but you're here to help change that, so you like that. Probably. It, it, <laughs> <laughs> it will be hard to change it because like everybody is recording now. So. Everyone is doing their own yeah. thing. <laughs> okay, um, last one. As an artist, do you think it is good? It is a good thing for other artists to throw their support behind political parties? You mentioned, you know, knowing that Biden was going to win. So what about with, within your own country? Well, I, I think it's, it's a good thing and a bad thing. Um, the good thing is like we have to be politically involved. It's our country. Mm. We are part of the country. Yeah. We, are, we are part of society. So it's not a bad thing, you know, going after, you know, a political party or, you know, affiliating yourself with somebody. But the bad thing is like it can affect your own personal yeah. business. You yeah. know, you know, this could be like we we, we are not we are not grown like up. That. We are not grown grown in the, in the you know when it comes to um, democracy. Mm. We are not grown uh, as a country. Yeah. So that is the negative side of it. But you can help, but being involved in uh, you know the politics of our, of the society. Yeah. I mean, you're part of it, so. <laughs> Well, guys, that, of course, was the one and only Afori Aponsa. I mean, is there anything that you would like to tell your fans that are watching your last words or messages or advice to people who look up to you? Well, um, what I would say is, like, if you have a dream, just keep believing. And just, you know, you, you stand up and you run. In the morning, you stand up and you run. You do your stuff. You write your stuff. You, you just, you know, go into whatever you want to do. Mm. You know, it doesn't matter. For me, I don't work with money. Money will come along the way. Yeah. When you just like put yourself, you immerse yourself in anything. You just immerse yourself. Just be that thing. Mm. And then people will come watching, looking for you. Look at that. Yeah. So, so it's, it's about time that people start believing. There are people around the world. They have stuff. They have good voices. They have good music. But kind of like stuck because they think it's money that's going to help them grow but it's not money no. immerse yourself in your craft yeah and then somebody will discover you and then the rest will be history hey <laughs> wise words from the man himself once again thank you guys so much for tuning in to yet another episode of the aquaba talk show my name is Ms. drew i am your official hostess with the mostest catch me on instagram that's m z d r u underscore and we would like to give another thank you to our sponsors without them we wouldn't be here today so silicon house productions world rumor and of course aquaba uk see you guys on the other side
what the journey is about, how it can sometimes take a little distance to bring us a little closer together. With ways to save more when you send more, World Remit is here for you, so you can be there for them.